So today, we are going to be playing the ladder in hopes that we can get to 4,000 trophies. I still need about 240 trophies more, so we still got a long way to go, but we can probably still do it. This is my main deck that we're going to be using for the ladder, and let's see if we can get to 4,000 trophies and maybe even at the top 500 in the world. My name is Tim Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. little bit nervous that we might play against max level players but it is the latter so what can you do right we we face max level players all pretty much daily almost daily really so let's see level oh i don't think this person has the right deck ladies and gentlemen this person does not have the right deck and i just one shot the i i can one shot the champion the, the champion's dead that's that's unfortunate for him. He doesn't have the right deck. Is he still going to play? I just took out his champion. Even though level 9, I could have probably just worried more about the mice bandit. But even though the champion can push troops towards his troops. And that alone could be dangerous. But it seems like he did quit or surrender or my service is bad. Okay. Or, you know, the glitch. Let's see if we can just use the cannonball here. There you go. Nerf or, you know, enchanting the blaze and the mice mana just in case if he comes back. I highly doubt it because, like I said, he did pick the wrong deck for the ladder. That's probably, you know, his ladder or his challenge deck and he forgot to switch it uh, to switch. So I do I do feel sorry for the guy because it has happened to me. It's very unfortunate that it has it happens because you just forget. But. What can you do, right? If he doesn't play this turn, the game will force surrender him and we will win some free trophies. Hey, I'll take some free trophies. I am trying to get to 4,000 trophies today, but you never know. You never know what can happen. So the game did force surrender. We will take the win right there. Free win. And this person actually has more trophies than I do. So um, I'll take what? Plus 37? 39. Look at that. Plus 39. Now we are at 3805. We just need 195 more trophies to go. Hopefully we can get a win streak going on so we can win more trophies. So I just need two wins in a row. And let's see. All right, so this looks like his main deck because it is level 23. So the my spend it is level 24. My summon going first is actually really great. He is going to double hit the Frost Fox. That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Let's see if we can enchant. We, we could enchant the Bomber and the Drakeling here. If we can also hit the Mice Bandit too, that would be super nice. So let's just do that right... I'm trying to aim this properly right here. Yep, oh, sorry about the notification. Let me get rid of that. We actually enchanted three troops. Now the Frost Fox, it seems like he is going to die. So I'm going to have to rely on my Naga to deal damage. We can try to enchant his Berserker, so that way we have all troops enchanted. Uh, yep, so we can definitely do it. Also healing up the Shaman, which is good. There you go. Okay, also dealing damage to the Mice Bandit thanks to the Fireball. The Naga is protected. Um, now let's cause some damage here. Let's see what he's going to do. Probably use the Fireball after the Paladin. Nicely done. He actually managed to do it while hitting the Naga as well. Can we hit the Mice Bandit? That is the main threat of his deck, his Mice Bandit. So let's see if we can double hit him. There you go. We actually managed to double hit the Mice Bandit, almost taking out his Bomber as well. Even though the Bomber is nerfed, he still does a lot of damage. 669. Um, he, and he is going after the Shaman and the Paladin. Okay. Now, since the Berserker just used his turn, I'm going to try to double hit the Berserker and hopefully we can figure out a way to take him out before he uses his ability on us. So, let's do that. Berserker now has six, about 600 health, so we need the Naga to hit him, or we can double hit him with any troop. He is going to hit the Naga towards the Drakeling. Okay. Um, I think the Cannonball might be enough to take, to take out the Berserker, so let's actually do that right here. It is not enough. Oh, it is not enough. The Berserker is only surviving with like 20 health, or, you know, 60 health, something like that. He is going to hit the Naga towards the Berserker. Hopefully he misses. 
Okay. So thankfully it wasn't the Naga that got hit. So we are going to heal up. Um, we we are going to heal up the Naga here. Hopefully the Paladin can go down and hit the Bomber or even the Drakeling. The Cannonball misses the Bomber? Are you serious? So that was, in a way, a waste of a turn, in my opinion, because we only did like 60 damage in that turn. So we have to figure out a way to deal massive damage to his Drakeling, because right now the Drakeling is the main threat, even though... Okay, we can deal we can deal massive damage here, but you know, even though the bomber does a lot of damage, his Drakeling with his fireball can be pretty dangerous. So let's just do this. Oh, his Drakeling is dead. His Drakeling is dead, ladies and gentlemen. And now the bomber has how much health? Uh yep, we can take him out with any troop. One hit. We just need any troop just needs to hit him once, and that'll be GG. Another good second game in the books right there. And this person also has... No, we're about even. So it's going to be about 30 trophies right there. 30 trophies to me. Another good win. We are at how much? 38, 35, 165 more trophies. We are doing pretty good. Hopefully we can keep up with this momentum. If we do win this match, we will get the win streak bonus. So hopefully we can manage to do that. Um, We can push the Shaman towards his troop, but that, let's see where the Shaman is going to end up, because he is going after my Shaman. We can heal up the Shaman since the Paladin does go first. Ah, golly! Alright. So let's heal up the Shaman. Enchant the Paladin. If we can also enchant the Warrior. We did. Look at that. We actually enchanted the Warrior while getting multiple hits on it. That was really good. Um, He is probably going to push the Naga towards the Barbarian, just to buff up the Barbarian a little bit. But, oh, nice hit. Let's just hit the Archer and the Barbarian here. There you go. Ooh, Frostfox is back to full health. Yeah, I think his... He's going to try to buff up... No, he surrendered. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The dude just surrendered. We got 20, 24 plus 10. Oh, let's open up these rewards. Ooh, Epic Orb. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we can get some Shamans. Some Nagas. Let's see. Puppet Master, no. Okay, we can get the Striker almost to level 24. He is getting close right there. Bomber. Nope. Can we get some Zombies? Ooh. Can we get some Zombies, though? Now the Shamans? Nope, that was a waste of an Epic... Uh, epic Orb, but... I mean, what can you do, right? It's, it's luck base. It's RNG. Ooh, some Nagas. Not too shabby right there. Let's just continue on opening this orb. Okay. Uh, not the greatest orbs, but what can you do, right? Let's just continue on. We have a win streak. We just need 131 more trophies to get to 4,000 trophies. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, Druid. I usually don't see Druid in the deck anymore. That is pretty interesting. I'm going to have to push this Assassin. I'm going to have to push this Assassin away. So that way he doesn't use the Assassin... You know, ability on me. He can still do it. He can still heal up and probably even deal damage to me. I'm just hoping that he... Oh, no. He's going to go upwards. Okay. To hitting my Shaman. Nicely done. Um, Let's heal up the Frost Fox and deal... Hopefully deal damage to the Druid. No, we actually did damage to his Assassin. You know what? We'll take it. But my Shaman may die. No, 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 no. My Shaman is going to die. Nobody's enchanted. So this is going to be a rough match to win. But let's see if we can do it. Let's just double hit the Assassin and hopefully hit the Druid. Triple hitting the Assassin. That was good. But now he's just going to play the Assassin. You know, to push the Assassin towards the Naga. Thankfully, it was not a double hit. We can always... Since the Assassin does go next. Mm, actually, no. Let's just... I don't know what to do. Hit the Druid. Hit the Druid and the Barbarian, hopefully. We missed the Druid. Or, you know, towards the Frost Fox. Alright, so the Assassin does go next. So now we should worry about the, the Assassin next turn. Or else he's, he can demolish me easily. So, let's see what is, he, what is he going to do. Hit the Naga. And the Paladin. Oh, wow, all three of them. Nicely done. Nicely done. So let's see if we can... We might miss the barbarian. Uh, the freaking. We might miss the assassin. That is obviously not good. Let's see if we can do this. Hit the cannonball and make the frostbox scores 
goes towards the um the assassin and we completely missed it. Thankfully he cannot push troops towards the assassin, but he can definitely push the paladin towards my uh towards my um or push the barbarian towards my paladin. So let's do that. Trying to get the Naga still alive as long as possible. Trying to lower his health. Hopefully he misses. He's not going after the Paladin. That is a very interesting play. I need to heal up the troops though. We're going to heal up the Naga here. And hit it towards the Druid. Never mind. We actually... Wow, we actually did damage to all four of them. And also taking out the Druid there. Or not the Druid, the Assassin. That was good. I'm just going to hope that... Um, we can still manage to win this because now he's going to take out the Paladin so I don't heal up anymore, which it makes sense. He did heal up the Druid a little bit, but he only hit the Paladin. But um, now we're going to have to try to deal damage as quick as possible, especially towards the Druid so he stops hitting my highest health troop. He's going to heal up the Druid. Oh my gosh, this is bad. We're going to lose. There's no way we're going to win this one. He's going to use... He's going to use a cannonball. Okay, never mind. He just won. Man. All right. That was a good attempt. Unfortunately, this person actually had less, tro less trophies than we did. So we're going to lose about 40. 46. That, that hurts. But we are still, you know, above 3,800. Hopefully, we can get to uh, 4,000. Hopefully, my shaman does go first. We can push the, the shaman upwards, depending on what he does, since he goes first, of course. So let's see. This person also has less trophies than we do, so it's going to be a painful loss if we do lose. We're going to have to um, enchant the bomber and, of course, heal up that shaman. We actually did damage to all four troops, and the bomber is enchanted and almost dead. So that was pretty good. My shaman actually goes next. So, let's see what he does. Because I would like to enchant, you know, the rest of his troops. Ouch, that hurts. But let's see if we can enchant the Barbarian and the Berserker here. We should be able to get the Berserker by playing it like right here. There you go. The Archer is the only one that is not enchanted, but three troops enchanted. That is really good. Um, My Frost Fox going next. Hopefully he doesn't deal lethal damage to it. He's going after the Paladin. No. The Paladin is still alive. Oh my goodness, the Paladin is still alive. We can probably heal up the Frost Fox once more. And just do this. The Bomber died. And the, the Dynamite is next to those troops. So he's not even going to go after those troops. He's going to go after the, the Shaman or the Naga. So the, the Dynamite is going to take out the Paladin and deal a lot of damage to my Frost Fox. What is he doing? What is he doing? Do a wall bounce, yeah. There you go. At least you did damage. That hurts. Um, do we need? Ugh, I cannot even hit the Naga. Uh, sorry, the Berserker directly. So I'm just gonna use the Cannonball, and this actually might be enough to activate the Berserker's ability. I'm just hoping it doesn't. Yep, it did. It did. It did. It did. It did. The Naga should survive, but he can get a double hit on the, on the Frost Fox to kill me. He did not get a double hit on the Frost Fox, but he did on the Naga. That actually hurts. Let's just take out... Or actually, let's try to heal up the Frost Fox. So let's see if we can make the Archer hit the Frost Fox. There you go. Healing up the Frost Fox just a little bit more so he could keep him alive. And of course, with the Naga's turn, we have... If the Naga survives, we have to take out the Berserker. Him dealing 900 damage to my troops, is it's a no-no. Hopefully the Naga survives. But if we need to heal up the Frost Fox, we will. Did he just... Understood. Um, I don't even think a double hit will take out the Berserker. It's not going to be enough health to, to keep me alive. That is brutal. How did he manage to pl to make that play? That was a, That was bad. He needs to do a wall bounce, and he can do it easily. He'll win here. But I cannot believe he managed to just demolish me right there. I thought we actually had it, and that that Barbarian just, just did that play. 
I'm just surprised that he managed to make that play. Look at that. Minus 40. So we just lost 86 trophies in two games. That, that sucks. Oh my goodness. All right. My shaman goes first. That is super. Let's actually enchant the warrior and the sorceress since the sorceress does go next. We have, yeah, look at that. We actually enchanted the naga as well. So we are, we started off perfect. This, his sorceress does go next, so hopefully he doesn't enchant any of my troops, and he doesn't. Okay. Um, let's try to deal damage to the sorceress here, because we need the sorceress dead. Wow, the sorceress is still alive. But, you know, the shaman can get enchanted, that's fine. If the shaman actually even survives. Okay, not really. Let's... Um, Let's do this. Let's take out that sorceress, dealing damage to the Naga right there. So nobody is enchanted. I am cool beans with that because his Naga cannot use his ability. And then the Mice Bandit ability will not be devastating. It still hurts. But with these, with the sorceress enchantment, that would have been even, even more deadly. He just took out my Shaman. So sadly, the Mice Bandit is not enchanted. So I'm probably going to have to go after the Mice Bandit. But we cannot do it. We can do it in this turn. Or should we just double hit the, the warrior and the naga here? We just took out his naga. I mean, taking out the naga wasn't necessary. I need to focus more on his mice spendit. His mice spendit, even though they nerfed his self, thankfully. Um, he can still cause him a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. That's over a thousand damage one hit. Like that, that's a no-no. Let's just hit the mice spendit. He surrendered, alright. I'm glad that he surrendered, because anything could have happened, honestly. Anything could have still happened. Ooh, look at that, we actually got an epic orb. I'm happy about that. We have to open up two orbs, so I'll be right back. A few moments later. And we are back, 38.05, 195 trophies. We were, we were closer, obviously, but then we dropped down. But uh, let's see if we can manage to pull us off. Ooh, this is a dangerous deck that we're facing. Um, he is probably going to enchant. Okay, so he's going to enchant the assassin and the treant. Okay. We might have to. You know what? Let, let's actually do this. We're going to punish that. So let's enchant the, his, tre his treant and his wraith. There you go. And the cannonball. Let's go. We actually enchanted three troops, dealing massive damage to the treant, enchanting three troops. That was pretty good. That was really, really, really good. What is he going to do? Enchant his Wraith again? He, okay, so he did enchant the Wraith. Wow. Wow! Oh my gosh. He just almost took out my freaking... My freaking Shaman. Let's see if we can revive him while also enchanting his... Um, his Assassin. Yes, we were. We enchanted the Assassin. But he is going to take out my Shaman. And maybe even the... Okay, no, he didn't. All right, so um, this is where the Wraith will shine. So I'm going to have to be careful about my place here. We might have to just push the Naga towards the Wraith because I don't want the Frost Fox going up there. So let's do that. Ooh, double hit too. That was beautiful. That was B-E-A-U-tiful. So he may... Um, what is he going to do? Just multi-hit the Naga? That's not going to take me out, thankfully. Even with his, you know, attack buff, he cannot take me out. We can actually double hit his assassin too while taking out his wraith. That is death. Let's go. Wow, we just triple hit the wraith unintentionally, you know. So let's take out this treant and we should be good to go for the win here. This was this is a max level player against a wraith deck. And wraith are now becoming, wraith is becoming meta right now. Oh, he just did lots of damage to me. Let's actually just do this. Take out his Treant. Oh my goodness, we just healed up the Frost Fox a little bit more. That's game. The Enchantress cannot do cannot do anything. And of course, her attack is lowered. So that that's good game for her. For him. Sorry. He is going to still play. I respect that. Nice play. That was a very nice play. Uh but hopefully this is this will be enough. Oh, 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 there you go. The Naga was in place to take out the Enchantress for the win against a max level player too. This person also has about the same amount of trophies as we do. Plus 29. Excuse me. 
We are at 38 34. We we need a win streak. We need a win streak to 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 just hope that we can get to 4000 trophies. We are facing Rocketeer in this deck. That's actually very that's a very interesting combination of deck. I honestly don't even know who to go for. Since or sh we can enchant multiple troops. Let's enchant the Rocketeer and the, hopefully the Yeti. There you go. We actually enchanted the Yeti. He is going to buff up his Rocketeer. Hopefully only one touch. And hopefully he might miss his attack. No, he got the attack. Okay. So we can... Oh, we can actually cause some damage here. Let's hit the Rocketeer towards the Cannonball. Hopefully the Shaman does damage out there or even the Cannonball. And hopefully the Frost Fox can also hit. No, that was bad. All right. So hopefully he only sticks with only two rockets. I don't want him to just gain more rockets, you know. So what is he going to do? Double hit the Paladin? He might miss a double hit. Yeah, he missed a double hit. Okay. Ooh, lots of damage to the Naga right there. Let's actually heal her up and deal damage to, the, to these two. Ooh, towards the Rocketeer as well. All my troops are separated. That's good. So he needs to pick one troop to go for. And he decides to go after the Paladin. Okay, nicely done. Nicely done. He actually took out my um He actually took out my Paladin. That's that was a really smart play. Now let's see if we can go after the Rocketeer. This hopefully this will be a double or even a triple hit. That, uh, not even close to a double hit. Alright. At least we at least we hit the Barbarian and the Golem, so it wasn't a full waste of turn, you know? Let's actually, you know, enchant the Barbarian here. Can we push the Naga so that way we can actually make the Naga hit the Barbarian? We were. Ooh, hit the cannon, almost hitting the cannon. He is going to touch the Rocketeer. He is not going to touch the Rocketeer. Wow. That is actually pretty, pretty... No, you know what? We gotta heal up the... We gotta heal up the... Uh, sorry, the Frost Fox. So we're going to have to do this. Hopefully we can get three touches. That was not three touches. Interesting. But we did take out the Barbarian and the Rocketeer. But he can now take out my Frost Fox, sadly. Yep, the Frost Fox is dead. No, the Frost Fox is still alive. Wow. Can we heal up the Frost Fox now? And we enchanted the Golem too. And the Golem is being blocked. So he cannot hit the Frost Fox. Oh, well, he just did. But look at this. We are keeping the Frost Fox alive, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get a double hit here. So that way the Frost Fox can stay alive a little bit longer. Sadly, it was not a double hit. But... The Frost Fox staying alive and the Yeti being nerfed. We can still win this one. And look at that. Even though he got the ability off on the on the Shaman, the most important troop is the Frost Fox. So let's see. We'll get one hit here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we won. Let's freaking go against a Rocketeer deck in this random deck. Even then. That was actually a pretty strong deck, not gonna lie. Look at that, we got three wins in a row, plus 32 trophies. We got some more trophies, some more orbs to open, so I shall be right back. A few moments later. And we are back, 3866, 130 more trophies to go, plus we got a win streak, so hopefully we can continue on with the winning so we can get plus 10 in every single game. And we are facing max level player, wow, this will be plus 60 if we do win here. So, let's see if we can actually win here. Since his priest does go next, let's actually nerf him. So that way, whenever he does he does damage to me. We also need to target him. So that way he stops healing up his troops. So, oh, he's going to just play the cannon right there. Look at the placement there. Wait, what is he doing? He's actually going for the enchantment instead of the cannon? I wouldn't have done that. That was actually a very strange play. All right, so let's, we're going to just, just use the cannon here. Hopefully we can hit the Treant. Yes, we were. We actually hit the Treant. The Treant sadly is enchanted with attack buff, so this is going to hurt quite a bit. My Frost Fox did take serious damage there, so I'm going to have to heal up the Frost Fox. Hopefully we can double heal right here. 
Yes, we also enchanted the Treant and his Wraith does go next, but he is in an, an uncomfortable position. He can actually still get the attack buff there. Nicely done, I think. Yeah, the, the Paladin just died. That is not good. And of course, we must target the freaking Priest. So let's actually do that and also just enchant both of these guys. So let's see if we can manage to get a double hit on the Priest right here. The more the merrier. There you go. Oh, we did not enchant the Enchantress. We almost did. He is going to enchant the Treant and maybe even the Wraith. It, wow, we actually enchanted all troops. Well played. Well freaking played. Let's actually re-enchant those troops. And hopefully the Frost Fox can also hit the Priest. There you go. Alright, so this is, this is a very close match. This is a very close match. The Priest Sally is enchanted with attack buffs, so the Frost Fox is going to take a beating here. Unless he does something else. He is going after the Naga. Interesting. Okay, so let's just... We could just take out... Mm. No, we just do this. We gotta make sure that we also deal damage to the... To the Priest, or to the Wraith as well. So we, I decide to do that. I could have taken out his priest, sure, but I'm a little bit worried more about his wraith. Wow, he just took out my he just took out my freaking my freaking shaman. So let's see if we can get both hits onto the wraith and the um the priest. The priest just needs to die in this turn. There you go, there you go. And since the frost fox is hugging the wall, um he should not be able to get not even more than one hit. But he can actually, he can still take out my um, my Naga. Naga is still alive, thankfully. Let's do, 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 do. let's take out his Treant. Or should we just go after the Sorceress? Let's just go after this. That, not the Sorceress, the Enchantress. Look at that. We also healed up the the Frost Fox, so we'll definitely take that play. We'll definitely take that play. Let's see what he does. He's going to get the attack buff, and he missed. He did get the Naga, but he missed the Frost Fox. So, that was pretty intense. I honestly don't know what to do here. I need to keep my troops alive, but I also like to heal. Let's see if we can get a double hit on the Enchantress here. Wow, okay, we actually got multiple heals, but we are in an uncomfortable position. We can still survive two hits, I think. No, he got a third hit. Wow. Good game. That was a very close match. We could have won 60 trophies there. I'm so sad. So let's just continue on. We are still in 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 the run. We're still not giving up. Ooh, nice deck. Against a max level player as well. Let's go. Mm, let's just hit the knight, I guess. I don't know. Or should we No, we just hit the knight. Or should we... Oh, I don't know what to do here. This is a very awkward position here. We'll just hit the knight. Okay, so if he wants to enchant troops, he's going to have to waste a turn. He can go for damage. He is going for the for the enchantment. He did de he did deal damage. Alright, he still dealt, dealt damage. Frostfox does go next, so let's see if we can... Honestly, let's just go after his assassin. We also enchanted his sword, his enchantress. Okay. Um, now my shaman going next. Let's see if we can enchant his satyr because his satyr he just took out my naga like it was nothing. Actually, look at that. No, the satyr did not take out my naga just yet. Let's see if we can also enchant his knight. Oh, we missed the knight, but regardless, we still did damage to the satyr and the enchantress. The enchantress almost dying. The naga is going to die here though. No, he did not go for the cannon. Interesting. With that being said, let's just in heal up the Naga here. Hopefully this will be a double hit. There you go. There you go. But he can still take on my Naga now if he plays the assassin towards my Naga. But we just need to enchant the rest of the troops and then the Frost Fox should be fine to deal with. Or, you know, we should still survive here. Interesting play. Let's actually heal up the Naga again. That was a very interesting play. 
Look at that, a double heal. You're keeping keeping the Naga alive is dangerous, dude. I don't know why you're doing that. We're still dealing damage to you while healing up the Naga, so... Ooh, nice, nice play. Nice play. Let's just... Mm. Mm. We'll hit we'll hit a Seder twice. There we go, we hit a Seder actually three times. The Frost Fox healed up three times. He can take out my paladin now if he wants to. And my summoning does go next. We need to enchant his knight. Nicely done. Wow, we cannot even we'll just use the cannonball to deal damage. That's fine. We'll just deal damage. Look at that. The, fro the, the shaman is now fully healed. We should be fine. We should be fine. We just having a difficult time enchanting. Oh, wow. He just took out the frost box like it was nothing. Okay. Okay. Um. 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 Uh. Can we do this? And heal up the Naga? Yes. But even with that, the Naga... Oh, well, he can still tank. But never mind. He, we just... Wow. Um, We might lose here. We might lose here. Oh. Let's enchant the... My god, this is tough. Can we enchant the knight by doing this? Yes! Yes, we were. But his assassin is still alive. That's not good. I wanted the, the assassin to die. We could double hit his knight and hopefully we can go back and hit his assassin. That is right now the goal. Yes, there you go. The knight being one of the tankiest heroes in the game. This is going to be tough. Plus, he's still... Even with the damage nerf, he still does decent damage. And look at that, he just got a double hit on me. This is tough. Like, I would need to... Man, this is tough. We're not going to win this one either. Oh, look at that, we actually may even missed a double hit there. Man, this is tough. All right. Thankfully, he did not get multiple hits on me. I'm gonna, to, I'm going to have to do the, do the cannonball strat here. So we'll just play the cannon, just to get some 500 damage. Look at that. We the shaman even also hits him. That was almost a thousand damage. That was pretty good. I think we just caught up. Okay. Um. Anything can still happen. There you go. We actually got a double hit for another 700 damage. How much health does he have? 1300. Yep, we are not going to win this one. He still has a lot of health. Lots of health. I think he just needs one more hit. I, if he needs two hits, I'm hoping that we are in an uncomfortable position for him to get a double hit. I just completely whiffed that double hit. I needed that double hit. Oh, never mind. Even a double hit wasn't going to take him out. Or, not even, uh, not double hit from me, from him. He only needed one hit to take me out. And sadly, well, it was a good run, a good attempt. But I'm just gonna call it quits there. So, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit the, uh, the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more Smashing 4 videos. That was a good attempt. We are... 3826 so we did win a couple of trophies we had a very some close call matches that could have honestly just put me up to 3900 trophies but that didn't happen but regardless i hope you guys still enjoyed today's video if you guys um do have any recommendations that you want to see um when it comes to challenge decks um you know hyper boosting videos and whatnot just let me know down in the comments below and i'll certainly do it for you guys thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again for your continued support guys i will see you in the next one take care